In this video, we will cover Guest VM OS image update to the latest on Gen 2 Accelerator Cloud at Customer. Using the OCI console, we will look at how to run a pre-check before updating the guest OS and then update the OS to the latest. First, we'll run a pre-check for the target OS image to make sure there are no compatibility issues. Let's navigate to the VM cluster we plan to apply the OS image. Here you can see a new update is available for this VM cluster. Software updates list for this VM cluster calls out the exit image version which is available. Now let's run a pre-check for this new image available to apply. Now that the pre-check is in progress, you will see a new entry in the update history. track the progress of the pre-check operation using the work request associated with this workflow. The pre-check has completed successfully. Last successful pre-check timestamp is updated and the update history reflects the same. Next we will look at how to apply this latest OS image update to the VM cluster. Since we've already run a successful pre-check using this image, let's go ahead and apply this image to the VM cluster. The OS image update is applied to the VM cluster in a rolling fashion. You will see a new entry in the update history once the apply software update operation begins. While the OS image is applied to the VM cluster, it is marked as updating. Lifecycle operations are briefly unavailable on the VM cluster. You can view the progress of the update operation by going to the work request associated with this workflow. Once the update operation has completed successfully, the new accelerator image version is shown on the VM cluster details. Since the latest image is already applied, there are no pending updates available to apply. Update history provides a historical view of all updates which were applied. Thank you for joining us today to learn about guest VM OS update to latest on Gen 2 accelerator clouded customer.